Hello everyone, so today we're on a fresh account, and I'm going to explain to you the fastest way to make money while on a brand new player. Now, this is not the best way to make money, uh, there's a lot of better ways to make money as you advance on into the game, but this is a great way to make money, and it's also a great way to level up several key skills early on. So, this takes a little bit of setup, so first off, we're going to go and buy the tools we need. To start with, we're going to come down to this magenta house here. This is the mining house, or smithing, whatever you want to call it. And in this house, we're going to come in, we're going to hold E on this pickaxe, just on the desktop here, the tabletop, countertop, whatever. We're going to hit G, and here's our pickaxe. We're going to press equip. And now we're going to enter our radial hotbar, which is done with tab. And we're going to press, you know, 1 through 6. And now it's on our regular hotbar. And so if we press 4, here's our pickaxe. Very simple. Now we're going to come in this pink building. We'll do the same thing. We're going to hold E on this axe on the countertop. I'd be holding E if I didn't have these tools already. And I can just equip it with F. Here it is on my radial hotbar. And here it is uh, on my regular hotbar right there. Very simple. That's my axe. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to run all the way over to the mine, which... Sounds a lot farther than it actually is, trust me. Uh, if you have a map, which you should spawn with, it's right here. It's called Deep Cavern. I'm going to cut to when I get to the mine, and I'm going to equip my pickaxe for mining. Actually, I'm going to time-lapse this, never mind, so you can see the location. So now that we're in the area of the mine, we're going to go along the coastline, looking for... Uh, there's the cave, right there. We're going to do a little spelunking. Now, when you fall down this wall, make sure you hug it. Oh, I didn't do a very good job at that. But make sure you go along the wall, right? Hold, uh, hold W while you're falling down the wall. We're going to equip our torch. We're going to light it. Be very careful. There's a uh, water pool right here. You don't want to fall into that. It'll make you freeze. And that'll lose your health. And we've got a lot of lead ore right at the uh, start of this, so we're going to come in and mine a single lead deposit. Just hold your pickaxe on this lead deposit. Uh, we've broken it. I'm going to get the lead ore out of my inventory. I don't really need lead ore. What I do need is this stone rock right here. We'll need that stone rock for later. Then we're going to go further into this cave, right down here, and this is where all of the iron spawns. And so now you're going to want to harvest iron basically to your heart's content, as much as you really want to. Uh, harvest iron until it says you're over-encumbered, which will be a notification on the top right of your screen up here. And once you've got as much iron as you want, okay, I this minor, you will reset and then return to the waterfall. I'm only going to mine two iron deposits, because that's enough for what I'm about to do in this demonstration, but you get the idea. This is where you are mine all of the iron. So... You only need one stone rock, but you're going to need as much iron ore as money you want to make. So, yeah, now we're going to reset. I'm going to show you what to do with the stone rock, and I'm going to show you what to do with the iron. The first thing we're going to do is run over to the uh, smelting furnace, and we're going to turn all of our iron into iron ingots, which is what you're going to need to make this money. We're not actually making something out of iron, but we do need the ingots for this craft. So, that's just going to be created real quick. As you can see, I'm leveling up professions just by doing this simple money-making method, which is very handy. And now we're going to come over, and we're going to equip our axe, and we're going to run down to the shoreline. Well, actually, let's chop a tree down first, because it's on the way. So I'm going to cut down this tree, and we're going to take all the logs it drops. And we're actually going to do a couple crafts here. We're going to do three crafts. We're going to make a stone knife, we're going to make a hunting bow, and we're going to make wood arrows. So here's all of our pine logs. And here is our flax plants. Just harvest any flax plant. This one works fine. We're going to actually do this three times because we need three fiber string. So we've got our log, we've got our stone rock, and we've got our flax plant, which will be enough to make what we're about to make. So we harvest all three. If you hit G, you'll actually see all the flax, uh, the flax leaves in your inventory. And here's all our materials. We hit C. We create, uh, let's create, oh, we have to make fiber string, right? Yeah, so, fiber string. We've made three fiber string there. That's going to fill up. One, two, three. Hunting bow. 
craft the hunting bow there. And then press wood arrows. And you're going to make... Yeah, two is fine. Two will get the job done. And then lastly... Oh, I need one more pine log. Okay. Lastly, we're going to get one more pine log and we're going to make our stone knife. I miscalculated. I think I need seven logs instead of six. So, here's our pine tree. And this is why at the start... Actually, I didn't, but... At the start, I was supposed to mention, you need to do this in a very small server so that there's not a bunch of new players doing the same thing, hunting the same rabbits. Because that, that can happen, so just be aware of that. Do this in a small server if possible. And then our last craft is the stone knife. Make one of those. And that will enable us to skin any animal we kill. Because that's what we're about to do. So the stone knife's going to finish up. And we're going to hop servers in just a second. I didn't realize this server has grown by 18 players since I joined it. So now we've crafted everything and we've hopped to a server that's basically empty. So we're going to equip our hunting bow and we're going to equip our stone knife. I'm going to put my hunting bow in the one slot. Stone knife's already in the four slot. And now, just by... Pressing 1, I have my hunting bow out, and I've knocked an arrow. So we're going to go outside save, well, not actually outside save zone. We're going to go out into this location here, and we're going to look for bunnies. Look for any rabbit you spot, and we're going to kill it, <laughs> just as you'd expect. We're going to hunt down a rabbit. I don't see one yet. There's three rabbit spawns, so you're guaranteed to find one eventually. This is, this is why I said join a small server. Because the more new players are on in your server, the less rabbits you're going to see. So we picked a smaller server, and we're actually next to a rabbit. So let's see here. It's running. You're going to want to shoot it when it's not running, okay? It's a lot easier to hit when it's a stationary target. Keep in mind, though, hunting bows are pretty inaccurate. So we're going to crouch to increase our accuracy a bit. We're going to hold right mouse, hold left mouse to draw our arrow. And then we're going to launch it just like that. Well, we're going to loose the arrow just like that. We're going to come back over. Here's our rabbit. Take our wooden arrow out. Equip our little knife. And then hold uh, left mouse to skin this rabbit. We're going to pick up the meat. And we're also going to pick up the pelt. The pelt is the most important part. Take that. The, the meat, though, the meat will sell as well. And we're going to turn the meat in for a contract. But the pelt is really what we want. And now, because there are three rabbit spawns, we can rinse and repeat and kill a ton of rabbits very quickly. And now, with our ingots and our pelts, we're going to... Actually, no, sorry. We're going to go here, and we're going to make three munition pouches. Oh, actually, we're going to make two damn munition pouches, because that was a black rabbit. We're going to take our munition pouches, which we made, and that'll up our leatherworking skill. And we're going to make our final munition pouch right here. So, essentially what we've done here is we've combined our rabbits, they're not, they're not black, they're, they're brown and gray, and we've combined our iron ingot to make a munition pouch, and these sell for a good bit of money. And the cool thing is, there's a ton of rabbits, and iron is very easy to acquire, and so you can just purchase the rabbits here, if you, you want to take a little bit of a cut in the profit. Uh, and the iron you can amass very easily once you have a good backpack. And that's how you make a ton of money. So, we're going to come over here. We're going to press, I'd like to view available contracts. We're going to take contract. We're going to give our munition pouches. And we've just made 42 pounds, which is double your starting money. And then, we're going to go and sell off the rabbit bait. Which, it's not worth much, but we can still sell it here. And, if you have extra rabbit pelts, you can sell them here. And so, we're just making a ton of money. We're selling our rabbit pelts, we're selling our rabbit meat, and we're selling these munition pouches, which we made by combining rabbit pelts with iron ingots. And so, these hunting contracts here, specifically the rabbit ones, are the best way to uh, make money early on as a brand new player in-game. Once you get better stuff unlocked, there's a lot of different ways to progress from there, but that's what I recommend as a brand new player. So, other cool thing is it progresses a whole bunch of professions at the same time, which is very, very handy. And that's what I recommend to you as a brand new player. So, good luck. There's more comment... Comment. There's more content coming, both from Northwind and from me.